So this is going to be a longer video, and I know it's going to be boring, but stick around right around the 19 minute mark. That's where things start to change. So let's go on this journey. Peace. Previously on Average Man's Motor Media. That's why you, yeah. The line came off. Yep, the line came off. Welcome back, everybody. So, going on with Snow Badger again. I took the uh, belt off, the serpentine belt. Took the upper and lower uh, radiator hoses on. I have these here. I'm going to see if I can just take this part the adapter and put it into here and do it but it seems like it might have to go longer which is why i bought this so hopefully this will be able to work out and we can figure something out to put it through there so we'll be good to go but let's go ahead and let's figure out how we're going to do this first all right so i got the new coolant lines the way they should be ran i got them um, hose clamped on there you got the bottom one on and also what I did is, see, I put a gallon in and it's stopping, which because I got the new housing in there, thermostat, and I also filled up the top here. So hopefully everything works out where I can start it and let it idle and do its thing. So I'm going to replace the O2 sensor and then we'll go ahead and get this going. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started. I have the coolant or distilled water with water wetter in it. And what I'm going to do is look over everything and make sure that everything is charging and then fill that up with the new thermostat and cross your fingers. I hope everything's done in the situation. Let's go. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at the coolant temp on the Holly screen because I want to know when it comes up to temperature because when the thermostat opens, all that fluid's going to drop and go into the system. And I want to make sure that I see that so I can pour more into it. did go down a little bit as you saw I did top it off a little but not as much as I would like it to do so I'm gonna let it warm up a little more and see what happens
while I was looking at the temp, I was like, oh shoot, I forgot to turn my electric fan on. So that's what you saw me do, quick run into the car, turn the fan on and come back out and feel it. Right now I'm squeezing the upper radiator hose just so I can try to get the air pockets out of there. So that's what I'm doing. concerning me is I wasn't putting in enough coolant that I would like it's been idling for a little bit it's coming up to temp but the level was not going down as far as I thought so it started concerning me on that aspect Alright, so we'll let that cool down all the way and then I will recheck the uh, water level in it to make sure everything was good to go because it was starting to climb up to 215, but I'm not sure if that's because it wasn't getting enough airflow through it to keep everything cool, but it stayed at 203, 204 for quite a few minutes, so that's a plus right up on that. So let's go ahead and let it cool down and we'll be right back. Well, another problem. It was idling just fine and then my lower coolant holes blew off there and now it's not doing anything like now I don't know what the fuck happened so now I gotta go back and figure out maybe take the steam port and go right into the radiator or something and eliminate that whole thing but 
Yeah, I don't know. It just spewed water all over the car and everything, and it's just. Okay, so here is day two. I'm trying to figure this out. And I think I had a bad thermostat, but also think the water pump's bad as well because uh, if you see, my distilled water and water water went all over my windshield because what happened when I put the new thermostat in, it built up in the bottom radiator hose and the thermostat never opened. And then it just exploded all over this. And it had some of the local guys um, that I became friends with help me out. And they got me back here. But also, the radiator cap, I ran no, uh, so I ran no thermostat to get it back here because the thermostat wasn't opening. And when we opened up this, a fuck ton of water came out and I only had two gallons in it. Which doesn't make sense because the block's usually a gallon and then a gallon would barely fill the radiator. So that tells me that I think the water pump is bad. And usually you can hear them, but since I have the exhaust here, I can't hear if the water pump is on or not, or sorry, if the water pump is bad. So I just bought a brand new one right here, and I have the integrated uh, thermostat that's gonna go in with it. So everything is just gonna be together and be done. And then what I'm also gonna do is I'm not gonna use the still water, I'm actually gonna use the GM coolant in it as well me that problem and then i'll leave the steam port here just in case but if not i got a t-fitting that i'm going to put onto this and then also into the expansion as well to so get all that situated so right now let's go ahead and i'll put you on a time lapse so we can get all so we can switch out the water pump Alright, got it all back together. Water pump, tensioner, the new housing right down there. And I'm, so I'm going to go back to using the green or the orange coolant that comes in the cars. So I'm going to go ahead and back this out and then hopefully cycle this through and everything works and we'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and get you guys out there. All right, I'm going to start it and start getting all this cycled through. At this point, I'm trying something different. And what I'm doing is I took the upper radiator hose off of the water pump and I put the coolant directly into that system so it fills the block up and then makes sure that the water pump has coolant in it. Also, what I'm doing while I'm filling up the block is I took the steam port hose off so then I know that the system is filled because I'm also having the coolant push all that distilled water out of the system because I bought the GM coolant, which is already a 50-50 mix. 
and I want to make sure all the distilled water is out of the block because I do not want to dilute the coolant that I'm putting in it any more than what it already is. Now that I have all of the distilled water out and the coolant is flowing out of the steam port hose, I reattached everything and I'm going to top everything off to make sure everything's good to go and everything is secured so now we can finally go and actually start Snow Badger and run it on the coolant. All right, round two. I filled the water pump up, so let's see if that will get water flow and open up the circuit. doing now that the new water pump and I had GM cooling in I wanted to raise the RPMs to spin the water pump faster because in turn that will suck more of the cold air or the cold coolant through the radiator into the system or the engine and I wanted to confirm if the coolant temp would go down. So I let it run and it does go up and then the idle comes down. But when it sits at idle, I don't think this fan is big enough to blow everything through. So finally, my new dual 12 inch fan showed up. They believe are gonna push 2300 CFM combined which I will mount them right on the inside radiator. I'll take this old one off and hopefully that solves our overheating problem. So let's go ahead and get this put on here. And then so we can start snow badger up, make sure it doesn't overheat anymore. All right, so I got every, the new fans in wired up. And then when I get to the new house, I'm actually gonna wire, I wanna redo this entire terminal block here. And then we can move this out of the way here in a little bit, but Let's just turn this on to see if the fans kick on, see how much that blows now. Oh, 
Oh yeah. That's that's moving some air now. All right, let's go ahead and get Snow Badger outside and see if this keeps it cool. So far, so good. <clears throat> At least that's looking good. Still gotta fix that. Once it warms up, it'll go down. But hopefully, maybe it will once I get the cooling temp set. My target AFR is doing well. So let's just keep an eye on it and see what happens. So I think I figured it out. <clears throat> that 198, give it some throttle. I got it figured out. 